Hey guys, it's V here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is another get ready with me because I'm not talented enough for you to have something cool to look at. So... But if you are interested in how I got this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> So my eyebrows are done and they're bushy AF, but that's okay. Doing them on camera is just not a thing for me, so it's just, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna talk because get ready with me. It's just, it's so much fun to do. So yeah, let's talk. 2019, we're finally here. How's your year going so far? It's been, what day are we in? I don't even know. It's the 14th, so we're 14 days in. Um, That's, wow. That happened fast. What have you done so far? I've done nothing, just so you know. Actually, I've done some stuff and I'm gonna tell you about what I've done. So let's begin. I spent hours, okay, filming the same video three times. The first time I filmed it, here's what happened. Are you kidding me? So basically the fire alarm went off because some idiot kids decided that it was way too cold to go outside to smoke. I mean, use a car if it's that cold or something, I don't know. But you know, they ruined my video. The second time I tried to film the video, I cut my head off. Take a look. Okay, now that that's done. Um, I'm gonna go in with, I'm not sure. I'm gonna curl my lashes first, actually. So you know, that wasn't gonna work because literally half of the video is this much of my face. I filmed the entire video, had my entire look done, only to find out that my head was chopped off. The third time I filmed the video, I can't even show you what happened because it never filmed. So I'm just, you know, starting to think that maybe that video is just not a good idea for me. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it one more try because it's really, it's a great idea. Loved the idea. I'm just gonna try it a little differently, I guess. And you know, hopefully it'll work because I can't, I can't waste any more time like this. I mean, now I'm sitting here just talking to, you because i don't have any content because i'm not creative so why i want to be a youtuber i don't even know <laughs> another thing that i've done since the year started was not go to the gym if you've watched my new year's eve video i mentioned that i should start going to the gym that hasn't happened at all but it's okay because tomorrow's a whole new day and maybe i'll go to the gym maybe i won't I don't know, but you know, anything is possible. Right now I'm using, I believe it's code James. I'm just putting that in my crease. This is like the best transition color, hands down. Speaking of Mr. Sister James, he came to square one, which if you're not from Ontario, it's in Mississauga. And so I dragged my friend and we went and- It was hell. He had, over 10,000 boys and girls who went to go see him, which is insane. I don't even know 10,000 people. I don't even think there's 10 people that want to see me. This guy had 10,000. I feel like that is the biggest turnout Square One has ever had. I was sweating. I did not see him at all. Nothing. I saw a lot of guys that looked like him, but not him. <laughs> I also saw the nice, beautiful M from the Morphe sign, which was great. I stared at that for at least an hour. And I got told by a mom. There were also a lot of kids who yelled at their parents, which I could never get away with. I don't know how they are. But yeah, I mean, Morphe's grand opening. They're finally in Canada. Um, I thought that, you know, I never even thought that it would be that crazy. It was, it was crazy. I did not expect it to be so big, but then that's my own fault because, I mean, this guy has 13 million subscribers. Why did I think it would be small? Stupid. 
but yeah all in all it was just insane right now i am taking oh that's rich from the pretty rich palette i also use this palette in my new year's eve look so if you haven't checked that out you probably should but yeah i mean that's about it that's all i've done for 2019 how about you let me know my cousin also started a youtube channel and her first video is actually really funny so you guys should definitely check her out i will link her video in the description and it'll be in the info box so you should you know check that out because i'm in it i'm not in it my name is in it but i'm not in it i mean i was there but i'm not in the actual video but you'll you'll hear my name once or twice three times maybe i have no idea what kind of look i'm going for i'm just kind of talking and going for it it is 7 p.m. So I'm not going anywhere. I mean, it's 7 o'clock on a Monday night, but I just wanted to play with some makeup because it's been a while. I haven't actually done my makeup since I failed at making my last video. I'm just taking a semi-clean brush and just extra blending because as we all know, I don't know if it's blended. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my crease. I didn't want to, but I kind of have to, I guess. I think that's fine. I think that'll do so in other news i uploaded a video on my other channel i actually originally had a different channel that i wanted it i wanted it to be my makeup channel but that didn't end up happening because well i don't know why actually i can't tell you i have no idea <laughs> it slowly turned into like a skits channel which now is a vlogging channel which i only do traveling vlogs on it and i posted a video there for people to come here so now i'm here telling you guys to go there check it out this video i think is actually becoming trash because i have no idea what i'm doing i'm gonna go into its designer from that same palette and just kind of set my cut crease now here's my problem i don't know what i want to do next I'm going into Shook and it's the metallic burgundy color and I'm kind of just placing that right where the cut crease meets the outside burgundy. I kind of really want to go into the diamond glit glitterati. Diamond glitterati. I really want to play with it but I don't know if it's going to be too much. Should we go for it? I think we should just go for it. So I'm picking that up and I'm gonna put that right on top of Shook. And I'm kind of like putting it on the white-ish area as well, just so it kind of looks like it fades away into it. I don't know, just trying some shit out, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like it. It works. <laughs> this color is just so freaking pretty. Like, okay, I'm gonna stop before I get too carried away. I'm gonna go on to my face. So I'm gonna clean up my brows and I'm using the Becca foundation because it's the only one out here right now and I don't want to go look for the other one. I'm not a huge fan of the Becca foundation just because of how thick it is but I mean that's how they get it full coverage I guess so. Completely forgot to prime my face. You know what I want to do? I want to make a freaking ASMR video. I love ASMR videos. It became such a big thing in 2018 and I kind of want to keep it around for 2019. I mean, why not? I don't have anything to make a uh, ASMR video. I don't have a mic or anything, but anything is possible. So I currently have a mustache happening because I haven't done my eyebrows or my face or anything since New Year's Eve. It's kind of like my hair. It's just not going to get any better. I'm just going to take a little bit of red eyeshadow and put it around my mouth, okay? So just give me a second. Okay, great. Now that I look crazy, let's continue. So as you can tell, my hair is just up in a ponytail. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about my hair because it's become a big problem. I hate doing my hair. I used to love doing it. I used to always like straightening it and curling it until it died. And then I kind of gave up. I just can't be bothered. It's just too much work. I barely have hair on my head, but it's still too much work. So, you know, I mean, kudos to all you girls out there who have hair to their like ankles and style it because I can't. I hate washing it because it's always falling out. I hate straightening it because it just takes too much energy. 
curling it takes even more energy and so you know whenever i do decide to wash it it gets washed and that's probably the only day it's ever let out and then the next day it's straight up into a ponytail and it's like that until i feel like it's time to wash it again and i know a lot of you may be like oh my god that's so disgusting you have to wash your hair well guess what no i don't it's actually better for your hair if you don't wash it often which i never do <laughs> there are guys in the world with better hair than me that's a fact there's also guys in the world who do better makeup than me i saw a lot of them when i went to see james charles am i mad about it of course not i've accepted the fact that i'm just not that talented and that's okay because you know what i have a decent personality and with makeup on i'm not that ugly so there is always a possibility for me to go far in life <laughs> i really want to try the new morphe fluided flu fluid fluidity fluidity i'm pretty sure it's fluidity i want to try that their foundation i know a lot of people have given it negative reviews most of the complaints are that it's really drying but you know what i have like the oiliest skin ever you could probably make a dozen rotis on my face that's how oily it is so a drying foundation might be like god for me i'm gonna contour now contour is literally my favorite part just because i can make my face look like it is as small as pluto is pluto even small do you guys even know what pluto is i bet a lot of you don't know what pluto is <gasps> you think kids these days know that pluto even existed give this video a thumbs up if you were around when pluto was still a planet because I remember when they kicked it off the solar system and it was the biggest thing ever. It was such an outrage just because it was the smallest planet ever. And try to get done before my mom comes home because then it's just gonna be noise. Noise, noise, noise. Does my face look better now? I can't tell. It looks exactly the same to me. Still looks like garbage. <laughs> okay, that'll have to work. I don't do this super neat because I mean, I really don't care. It gets wiped off anyways. You gotta blend it out anyways. Oh. <gasps> it's fine, everything's fine. I'll fix it after. All fixed. I'm gonna take that same pencil liner looking brush and I'm gonna go back into that, oh that's rich, color. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Oh shit, that's a lot. Okay, I think that's good. My nose ring <laughs> keeps turning in. Okay, I'm taking my trusty old artistry powder and I'm going to set my entire face as well as like kind of blend out that bake. Okay, so that is looking great. Now I'm gonna take my bronzer. I really place it to the back just so it brings, hides my face. Not entirely sure actually. Kylie Jenner taught me to just put it here and then just yeah <laughs> okay so now i need to highlight and then my lashes and then i'm basically done so i'm gonna do my lashes and stuff off camera and i'll be right back okay so i did highlighter and i used the color face from the james charles palette and then i added lashes in the style aruna by lash by td my go-to gloss is like by kylie i believe that is it i mean this is the best i can do i can't i can't so, so this is the finished look. I kind of love how it turned out. I'm hiding my neck because they're two different colors and y'all don't need to see that. So <laughs> if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I don't upload on a schedule, so you know, it's spontaneous and you don't want to miss it. <laughs> also, like I said, check out my other channel. It has a couple of videos. It's from two years ago, but why not, right? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and you can also check me out on Snapchat and Facebook. Yeah, so that's about it. Don't forget to keep it lit, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!